Hi, this is Peter Godinas, your ambassador with KEDY TV, and we have another version of Meet the Boss, and we have the good pleasure of meeting business owner uh, Thomas Swankowski. I told him I would say that slow. Uh, he owns a company called The Local 805. So welcome to the show. Thank you. Appreciate it. I know you're busy, so I want to get down to it. But uh, at, in our pre-interview, you're all about Oxnard. I am, absolutely. And you, it's all started here. So I'm going to begin with just a little bit about it all began here in Oxnard. Sure. Tell us about yourself. Uh, I was born and raised here my whole life. Uh, again, born in the original... Uh, St. John's Hospital, went to school here locally, graduated from Oxnard High School, uh, grew up surfing around here in Silver Strand, the point, um, out at the oil piers when you could. Um, so yeah, I've been around here a long time. Uh, kind of left the area for a while, came back, and just really want to get involved with the community again here. Now you actually provide a certain service that deals with wood, construction, and grading. I did a lot of job of doing that, so can you now help me out? Because I see your logo, I can see the surfing, mm -hmm. local 805, which we're all about. Right. And for the world, that's our, our area code uh, in our phone system. But uh, tell us what you and it's your bride. Your, your, your My business, fiance, yeah. Fiance. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's pretty bright. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate so that. So go ahead. Oh, oh, oh God. Yeah. So anyway, so what are you guys all about with that particular portion of the business? So the, we, we do the farmer's market over in Channel Islands on Sundays. Um, so we sell other apparel and, and jewelry and I make uh, custom wood signs for businesses and, and people's homes and things like that as well. Um, sort of more of a hobby, um, kind of gets the name out there, but also uh, under that company we started the brand Local 805 um, to really try to open up the community's eyes to this community. Uh, mm -hmm. There's no better way to really explain it than Local 805, that's mm -hmm. what we are here. Um, so it kind of has that union flair to it, uh, which is pride and that, that people take in it. So that's what we want to do. We just want to encourage pride back into this community. So everything we do, like as far as the apparel sales and stuff, a uh, portion of all those proceeds go back into the local Boys and Girls Club. Mm -hmm. um, so we're trying to get local businesses on board with that, um, buying local, you know, dealing with local people. Uh, you know, the big chain stores and stuff are fantastic, but you know, we have a lot of product here. You know, I grew up here as you did when there were a lot of farmlands around here and mm -hmm. you know you didn't go to the grocery store to buy your groceries and stuff for a lot of it. You went to the local Chase Brothers Dairy, I know they used to be on the corner of Ventura Road and Gonzalez there, or you went to the local farm stands, which you can still do here um, to a degree, but not like it you know, not like it was. So there's still plenty of places I think people have lost sight mm -hmm. of what the local places are. Um, and I think we need to kind of rejuvenate and get back into that. Hmm. What did you actually learn? So you went away to Santa Barbara. Where did you go to for that sabbatical that you took? I did, well, I did. Uh, I went to college in Texas, okay. and then I, uh, I lived in Santa Barbara. I used to work at a uh, college hospital. So okay. I worked out there for years. So that's all. I still kind of stayed in the local area for the most part, yeah. um, just doing different things. Um, had a lot of ideas about this, but uh, you know, when I was younger, just had different things going on, and, and so now that I've had time to really settle in and absorb everything in the community, it's now it's time to finally get involved for real and, and get other people excited about it. What, while being away, did you learn something about Oxnard? Just being away from it, seeing it from a distance? Yeah, it really made me appreciate it. When you, when you leave a place and you come back some years later, you, you just, man, the change that took place was incredible. Uh, it just grew. Um, I mean, it went from 40,000 people to, you know, 200,000 people an hour. I and mean, it's just crazy. Everything built up around this, this area. So it really kind of for me, it, it, it might have an opposite effect. People will say, oh, wow, everything grew up, this is awesome. For me, I was kind of like, oh, this is awesome that it grew, but I think we kind of got away from, again, what, what the true heart of this town was. And that was, you know, a lot of our local farm workers and a lot of people who had uh, local businesses, not these big chains that came in here. So it really made me appreciate uh, looking back at, at, at what this town used to be like. Um, and growth and expansion is fantastic, mm -hmm. but you know, we, let, let's remember our roots, right? And uh, let's let's keep supporting that. You and I were talking about, and we'll, be, we'll call this the nostalgia section yeah. of it, but you know, things like the high school you went to, still called Oxnard High School, yeah. but it's in a different location. Yeah, it's not there anymore. The hospital's in a different location now. What else? Uh, yeah, because I, I know, but I want to hear what you had to say. So what else has changed about Oxnard? Uh, 
Well, like I said, we just have a lot more chain stores in here now. You know, I used to work at the local Stop and Go on uh, on Gonzalez Road there. That's, <laughs> remember now, it well. that's now Circle K. Yeah. You know, Chase Brothers Dairy was on the corner there, like I said, of Gonzalez and Ventura Road. A little drive through uh, market thing that is now, I think, a chicken <laughs> place. And again, another big chain. Um, so things like that. You know, Bob's Big Boy downtown. Oh, you have to bring that here, up. Right? Absolutely. So that, that, was like one that. Of the, that was one of the great places to go when I, when I grew up here. You know, we didn't have Marie Calendars and places like that. Uh, Baker Square that was here for a while. You know, you had those kind of things. We so, didn't have a corner pocket, something yeah, like Yeah, right. This. We didn't have a corner pocket either. Another, <laughs> another Oxnard family <laughs> run business that we need to support, right? So, you know, more power to that. So, yeah. You, we were talking about how there was only one tower at one time, you know, uh, where uh, the wagon wheel was the... Uh, what do you call it, the benchmark or the yeah. landmark of the area? Yeah. You didn't have Google back then. You'd have to say, do you, oh, know, yeah, do you, know, know. <laughs> do you know where the uh, wagon wheel is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's definitely changed, but it's interesting from somebody who grew up here. Yeah, you know? well, Oxnard wasn't even on the map, right? I mean, I remember we would travel and, and, and abroad. My father was in the military, so we did a lot of traveling and stuff, too. Um, and you'd talk to people, and they go, oh, where are you from? And you'd say, Oxnard. And then they're like, where's that? And you always had to tell them Ventura. Oh, Ventura. We're, we're, you know where Ventura is? Oh, yeah, we know where Ventura is. Or do you know Santa Barbara? Yeah, well, we're 30 minutes south of Santa Barbara. <laughs> Nobody knew what Oxnard was. There's was the other thing, right? We had a phrase there for a while where it's like, what's an Oxnard, right? Um, but yeah, so Oxnard is, you know, it's on the map now. People know it who is. Oxnard is. They know about our agriculture here and the strawberries here. And um, So I, I think we just need to continue on with that trend and really keep promoting that because Oxnard has made a name for itself, and that, that's awesome. No, I'd agree. I just like the catalyst of it continuing on. And you know, one question, since I was not a surfer, mm -hmm. and since I, I'm hoping several of your surfer brothers and sisters out there will watch this, mm -hmm. what is it about being a surfer that you surf the rest of your life? Uh, you guys are like a certain <laughs> breed. Can you give us the secret? What is it about you You know, guys? surfing keeps you young. And I'll be honest with you, I haven't surfed in uh, probably 30 years, unfortunately. But you feel so it, though. You, look, you have it's the look. Still a lifestyle. You still a the, Yeah, the beach is still a lifestyle. I have my surfboard. It's art decoration in my backyard, in fact, the board I grew up surfing on. So um, I think it's always in your blood. It's a youthful thing. Being at the beach, obviously, is kind of a youthful thing. Physical activity, right? It's healthy. Um, I've had a few, you know, I've had neck surgery and a few things that kind of limited my uh, abilities to do certain things. Mm -hmm. um, so honestly, I, yeah, as much as I would love to grab that surfboard and throw it back in the ocean, I honestly don't believe I'd be well, able to Well, if you're like the pendant, I know we could grab <laughs> that life surfboard. On it, yeah, I could <laughs> we could take the camera and throw you out there and no one can uh, at least ride one out of ten Yeah, 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 I could ride at least four feet. That's an <laughs> idea. Where's my producer? <laughs> that's right. No, that's really great. I'm excited to have you here in Oxnard. Yeah. You are a catalyst of why. Oxnard will be a place that is an uber community, family oriented, and just be a beacon to what this world needs. And so, uh, whatever we can do to support you, but thank you yeah, so much, Thomas. You. Can we, you go, people are supposed to be calling you Thomas. 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 Yeah. I'm gonna call you Thomas, Brother Thomas. Yeah. So thanks for being on the show. Thank you. It, uh, it was a complete pleasure. This is Peter Godinus, your ambassador with KDY, and meet the boss. Until next time.